Good morning everyone, guess where I am today? Well, I've got RT3435 in front of me. Uh, I'm on a wedding hire duty and there's a group of wedding guests and things. We're outside the chapel at uh, Dulwich College in South London. So there's Dulwich College over there. This being the school where the late great entertainment TV presenter Bob Monkhouse went to school back in the 50s. So this is Dulwich College. So this is RT3435. So we've been carrying the guests from Herne Hill over in South London. And the wedding party has just been held here at the chapel at Dulwich College. There's the cricket ground over there. There's the main sports field at Dulwich College. Scowl way back. There's the college itself. Also, if we look up here, we've even got a white taxi, which is where the bride and groom arrived in. So this is the white taxi over here. So this is the taxi which the bride and the groom, well, bride arrived in. This beautiful 1990s white London taxi. As you can see, it's a superb vehicle dating from 1994, and we've got another white taxi just here. We've got the two wedding taxis here with their white bows on. So this is Dulwich College Chapel. This is where the wedding ceremony was taking place. There's RT3435. And a good time is being had by all. Everyone happy, the weather's all beautiful. Everyone all mingling, getting along well. So here's the sports field at Dulwich College, where they play football, cricket, rugby, and other sports like athletics during the summer. And over in the distance, that pile on there, that's uh, Crystal Palace. That's the TV, the TV uh, transmission mast over at Crystal Palace over in the distance. I'll just zoom in a bit. So there's Crystal Palace over in the distance. There's some kids playing cricket and stuff. So this is the main Dulwich College building, I'll just zoom out a bit. So this is Dulwich College, which is one of the few private schools in this part of South London, and a very nice part of South London it is too. Lots of fresh air, nice and leafy, and it's hard to believe this is actually inner South London. So this is Dulwich College, this being where the late Bob Monkhouse went to school back in his youth. And this is Dulwich College in its absolute Victorian splendour. That's the main, the main school buildings there. We've got some more modern school buildings further down. Uh, this view is looking south towards Crystal Palace and the TV mast, which dominates the whole of London from the top there. Uh, this view here, that's looking west. That's looking towards West Dulwich Station. And that view up there, that's looking north towards the likes of East Dulwich and Peckham. And this is where we have the wedding reception along with RT3435. So what I'll do, I'll take you on a quick little tour around RT3435, seeing as we're here. After all, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? So this is RT3435, which originally began its life as a London Transport Country Area bus when it was new in 1952. We've got Paul in the cab there. There's RT3435's bonnet flap there. And the thing about its old London Transport Country area days is its uh, old green London Transport radiator badge. So even though the bus was overhauled and repainted into red, it still, re it still retained the uh, London Transport Country area green radiator badge. There's its registration, LYR854. So this is the standard RT type bus. And it was converted to an open top bus after an argument with a low bridge back in the late 70s. So that's RT3435, and it's a superb little bus. And very popular bus it is too, with all the wedding crowds. So we're just, just going to jump on now. So as you can see, this is the interior of RT3435. Typical 1950s interior, along with the seat pattern that used to be fitted on London Transport's RFs, RTs and trolley buses in the 1950s and it was also fitted to a few of the old southern region trains back in the late 70s. So this is the view of RT3435 looking towards the driver's cab. So that's Paul there sitting happily in his cab. 
there's the bell cord on the ceiling along with the conductor's bell here where it says passengers must not give the starting signal also got this warning notice there five standing passengers are allowed inside this vehicle at all times unless seats are available and for your safety please do not stand on the upper deck or stairs as you can see we've got these nice steep steps so we're just going to go up and we're going to have a look at the upstairs on our T3435 so this is looking towards the front and we've got a superb view of the Dulwich College Chapel along with the wedding ceremony going on and the wedding party as you can see everyone's all enjoying themselves there's a the bride and groom in the middle of the picture there and there's a famous white taxi down there, the wedding taxi which the bride arrived in earlier on. And we've got a better view of the Dulwich College buildings themselves from the top deck of RT3435, so that's Dulwich College. And the infamous Crystal Palace TV mast in the middle of your picture there, standing out. And this beautiful sports field of Dulwich College. And to think that this is actually inner South London. So there's more to inner South London than just concrete tower blocks and depressing buildings. You've actually got these wonderful parts of London, such as Dulwich, Forest Hill, Sydenham, etc., where you've got all these trees and greenery. And it's a lovely part of London, it really is. So yeah, this is RT3435. So what we'll do, showing you the top deck. So what we'll do, we'll go downstairs down these familiar steep steps that you have on an RT. One step at a time, along with the famous Cadbury, dairy, Cadbury's Dairy Milk flooring pattern, which these RTs were renowned for. So there's the famous used tickets bin on the RT. And of course the RTs could carry 56 seated passengers, 26 seats on the lower deck and 30 seats on the upper deck. So I was also show you back end of RT3435. On this beautiful early June day, there we are, there's the back end of RT3435. And doesn't it look superb in, in the operation of the London Bus Company, owned by a certain Mr. Roger Wright. So there you go, you've got the RT bus and you've got the taxi in the same shop, side by side, more or less. So this is it from Dulwich College at the moment. Um, I might post another video later on. Hope you all enjoyed the previous one I did on the Isle of Wight. So this will be my next vlog here in Dulwich College. In the heart of London's leafy suburbs, or inner London, South London suburbs. So if I don't see you before, I shall wish you a good afternoon or good morning, wherever you are in the world. And I shall close off just by giving you this detail of the London Bus Company fleet name. And if I do not see you before, I shall catch you up soon and I shall say ta for the like. <laughs>